Now let's talk about internet synchronization and uh, first we need to generate application. I call it uh, old and add prefix sw and add no standalone option to have modules. So let's generate it. This is uh, yes. So now is our applica our application is generated. Uh, let's find it. Okay, world should be. Yes, I trust. So let's open terminal. Uh, let's run it to serve to check if it's work. And now it works. So you can see that it's work and we can continue with our application. So I have deleted in app component all hot. I deleted all. So let's add some prepared code. Here is a table where I define amount, currency, date, uh, quantity and uh, some information about order. So I probably add some code, add uh, picture logo and uh, here is result. We have site with picture and table of this uh, purchase uh, so we defined quantity, price and amount and total amount. So next, what we need to next do to add uh, some uh, internet synchronization. Let's stop our application and uh, run command to install ng add angular localize will be start and execute yes so it installed so let's check our assets we don't have any new, new. Let's check our Angular JSON file. Uh, let's check build builder, nothing new. No, okay. Next step uh, in projects. We need to add property. Uh, property for localization. Uh, project, project type. Let's. Let's. Pause. So let's add it. here and here we define source local English American local supported also supported let's add friend and so 
sorry I make wrong this was wrong uh, here is our project and here we add our internet nationalization we define source local and add some additional locals let's add this is one let's add another one for example that's control v and control v so i have added some additional languages and let's add to options we need to add property localize and add here also our auto languages so. and the next step we, s we add this and save it uh, let's move to next what next we need to add our translation we need add this symbols to each of our translate or to each translated item so let's add it pay attention that for images we add this symbols for for text we add this and for currency we add pipe so let's save it what next next we next uh, we also can we need to um, convert for example in our comp component title we, we would like to convert our title uh, our title should be search and we can add at for uh, title translation we need to import title and add constructor where we inject title service and title service set title and we add localized this title let's save it next what we need to do next next we can extract our uh, values to generate translation we use command ng extract nationalization output path in src local we that folder and it, that folder will contain uh, our output file So uh, it worked. Uh, we have additional folder local, and here we have message file. We next what we need. We need to add additional files. Let's uh, have copy name from this, 
and add new files new file one will be after messages dot we add s and dot this is second file uh, next to it we need to add uh, let's copy uh, here it is s first next uk then d the, then ru so now i have added all necessary files so what next we need to control a control c and put this 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 and uh, let's save all of them and let's start to translate for example we have source and we need to add to add probably target for example here it is uh, for example we we add translation so I have translated all sources to targets this is German this is Ukrainian this is Russian this is Spania, Spanish and but next uh, we close all this and let's run and the so so it it's running now let's check our application now it's in English. Let's try to translate to Spanish. Add syntax did nothing happen. So next what we need uh, we need to yes we have errors. So let's stop our application and build it using ng build localize so we build it here is a pair of folder where our subfolder world and here is server folder. Let's run it. So let's try to run serve this world. Sorry, serve ng serve. Let's install HTTP server globally. Now let's run our application. So let's try and so let's try to see it. But uh, port is eighty 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 eighty. So we can see 
browser server we can see the we can see back us we can see Spain we can see Lou no we can see <laughs> we can see instead of Lou German Ukrainian that one <laughs> something went wrong suppose I miss to translate so let's copy this there and uh, let's try to change and we can see that it's translated you can see German why we don't see our icon well, let's return back and let's try server no something Okay, probably we can deploy it and check. So I would like to point out that we have some uh, not very cool things like uh, end project we have uh, as uh, several versions of our application we have version for german we have version for usa we have russian ukrainian version uh, this is bad because we can't uh, deploy it uh, as uh, we deployed um, ng uh, application uh, with ngx translate but uh, we can deploy several versions for for example we can deploy for each reg reg region uh, own version and actually in big companies uh, it works so in that way we have a cache and uh, deploy it uh, our application on different location so this is uh, common practice but if you are work for a startup uh, for that kind of application better to use nginx translate which i record earlier so that's all what i want to show you.